Hello and welcome along and welcome to this first look at West Newton Farm. Uh, massive thank you to NM Modding for sending me this map and a uh, and allowing me to have this early first look. Um, my first impressions are this is an utterly, utterly stunning map. Um, I, I've driven, as always, I've driven the Land Rover from the shop to the farm and that is all I've done. Uh, now, this is a, uh, it's a map based off a real farm in Ayrshire, Scotland. Uh, it features four yards, uh, one for cows, one for sheep and arable, uh, one for pigs and a horse's uh, stable yard. It has seven cell points, uh, a walk-in shop. Uh, it features a small town towards the bottom of the map. Uh, there's a second summer pasture for cows. Uh, and it has full seasons support, and uh, and yeah, look at, I mean, just looking around this yard, this initial yard, uh, there is so much detail on this map. It is absolutely stunning, as I said. Um, this at the moment we are up with the chickens are somewhere in between these two houses. I think the chickens are so jumping through the hedge around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Chickens are in here. So, uh, yeah, up from the yard here. Uh, so chickens are in here. Good fun getting in there with the uh, with their feed. Uh, this might be one of those maps actually where it's it's good to use a chicken feed bag or something like that. Or you could uh, possibly do it over the hedge. But yeah, I think that'd be great fun trying to get the the feed in there for the chickens. Uh, otherwise, I think this is one of the cow yards. Uh, and, uh, yeah, pretty sure this is a cow yard. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, I, I love to, I'm, I'm very pleased to see that, that Coon Knight as a, uh, as a default vehicle on here. It's not used anywhere near enough. Yeah, this is what this is. This is one of the cow yards. Oh, this is the cow yard. And uh, it just uh, you just look down here and you look down the valley and the, the view is stunning on it. These barns are all built uh, built wonderfully and, and absolutely beautifully. Um, and, and and what I love about the yards, I've I've seen a couple of yards on here, and they are all multi-level like this. They're all got this. The, there's there's no flatness to them. Uh, got Vultra in here and a few other bits of equipment. Don't often see a map start with a uh, animal trailer, uh, which is pretty cool as well. And yeah, and you can see down here, this this bit down here, and we've got a I'm guessing a silage clamp down here. And we can yeah we can make it all the way around this yard here. So really really gorgeous first yards. And you land here, you start off here. Uh, and it's uh, it just is absolutely brilliant place to be. Uh, and in here we've got the workshop uh, header for the combine and uh, yeah a nice bit of extra space. Very very cool. Loving the uh, loving the variety of buildings in this yard. So we're going to jump in to the landy. Uh, we want to have a look at the map quickly, I think. So before we get driving off, uh, let's pop out here and have a look at the map. And it's it's a really awesome, awesome PDA, this. A massive number of fields. I'm looking at, I think, 108 fields. No, 109, 104, no, 115. Looks like 115 might be our highest number, actually. Um, all sort of small to medium fields, so you're not going to want massive equipment on here at all. Uh, and, and that is reflected in the roads, as you'll see in a minute. Now, we want to see... One of the things about this PDA is it actually can be quite hard to see exactly where the road is. So we might be moving around um, a little bit cautiously here. But you can so many fields packed into this map. Uh, we want... To see how much things are, and at the moment we only own the outer, we own the outer bit, which is a value of zero, um, which has most a lot of features and bits and pieces like that in. Uh, we want to see what 
we've got in the way of areas. And we have got, we've got several places where we've got several fields grouped together. We've got a few single fields and things. I like that actually where you end up owning stuff opposite sides of the road. That's a nice touch. But there's no, all the field areas seem to be roughly the same sort of size. Uh, smallest, oh, it's very difficult to tell exactly what you get in a field area here. But we're looking at roughly the same price for most stuff. 114,000 down the bottom there. Uh, well, we've got 93,000 for 83 and 81. Yeah, I think that looks like our lowest price at the moment. Lots of uh, lots of stuff where I think I'm picking a single field and I'm not. There's there's groups of them. Yeah, I think that there that at ninety three thousand is our cheapest area. Our most expensive. Uh, yeah, we've got half a million for here. I don't think we're going to top that. As I said, the difficulty is finding an area that is more expensive. Uh, is not easy yeah i think that is probably our most expensive area there uh, half a million so nothing nothing overly expensive for anywhere our starting areas are 468 uh, 62 and 229 so um, um, this these are some reasonable field prices i'm seeing on this map which is always a good start and we'll have a look and uh, and see later. I haven't tested this on Start From Scratch or New Farmer. Uh, so I don't know if the animal areas disappear on those. Uh, but so far, on, sorry, on Farm Manager, not New Farmer. This is this is New Farmer that we're having a look at at the moment. And it is, it is a gorgeous map. Absolutely stunning map, this. It's not, you look, any direction you look, you can just see so much. And it, uh, it feels very, very British, very, very Scottish, this map. Really, really does. Def definitely not a Norfolk feeling map, this one. Now, there was a road. Yeah, we want that road there because that goes up to the top of the map where there are a few features we want to look at, a couple of cell points and things. You can get lost in this map. I did, I'm driving this up here, driving the landy up to the farm, I did get lost. I, I had to turn around and go back a bit because it just, you just can get lost so easily on this map. And most of it is this single track road. There is a main road which has traffic on it, but the vast majority of it is this. And it is absolutely stunning really really stunning uh, up here I this think this is the sheep yard by the looks of things and again you can see even the, the drive up to this is uh, is at an angle there's nothing flat here which is uh, which is quite cool wow that is a really tight bit through there you're not gonna get many tractors I feel I'm not even sure you can get a Land Rover through here yes you can good Right, let's have a look into here. Wow, that is a huge shed. So this is, if this is the sheep yard, this is also the arable yard. That is a massive shed. Really, really, really large. And this is just looking very, very cool. Yeah, nice bit of detail. Not not overly detailed. Sometimes you find maps are off, have a little too much stuff in the yards. This has this has just the right amount. Uh, and here now, this I think should be a sheep pasture. If there is a trigger for it, it's not showing up. So as I said, this is a work in progress. So it's possible that there is a yeah it's possible that there is an error or two let's have a look down here check the other sheep part, uh, yard gate see if that is allowing the sheep in 
Yeah, there we go. So we've got she sheep we can get into this one anyway. Uh, and as I suspected, this is the sheep yard. Very, very long, very linear yard, this one. Uh, but I like it a lot. A great arable farmyard, this one. Uh, it will uh, it will do things grand, absolutely. And I'm wondering if that is a... Yeah, that is a fuel station there. So that is a fuel tank. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. And a uh, small placeables area over here as well. And then the road up here heads off to a dead end. Nothing else up that way uh, for us at the moment. It just sort of disappears off into the fields. So we're going to head back down uh, here. And we're going to go and have a look at the cell points uh, that are at the top of this map. And it is really... I, I'm, I'm blown away by how large this map feels. This map feels bigger than it is. It reminds me a lot of um, uh, the West Coast uh, by Bullet Bill. It's, it's just a massive, massive farm. There we go. Or a massive, massive feeling map, I should say. Sorry. Uh, so this is uh, so this is a yard. Interestingly, I think this is a cell point. It's got cell point marked on the map. Let's have a look at this a bit closer, because there is definitely something on here. But I can't tell you exactly. So it's a storage yard barn. And a farm site. So storage yard barn is a cell point. So yes, there is a cell point here. I would say I would like to see that better marked. I think uh, because you drive up here and and this is this is storage. So this isn't a cell point. But there's a there's a cell point for straw in here somewhere. <laughs> And that's, that's one of those ones that would be difficult to find if you came up here looking for it. So I, I like that. Uh, I, li I like that as a yard to use. But there is a cell point up there. And I can't, I can't see where it is at all. Uh, again, that sort of disappears off up into the fields. That right there. So we're going to head back down towards... Uh, the spinnery, I think, is down this way. And see what we've got down here. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, and back onto the road. I was going to say the main road, but this most definitely is not the main road. Um, down to our cell point here now again we have a we have a cell point here it's not immediately obvious to me where the cell point itself is so we'll pull into this yard here and again I think this must be another straw cell point or something like that maybe this is the abandoned farm barn so yeah I would get I'd take it that that is another if we have a look at this uh, abandoned farm barn yeah so that also takes we've got three places for for taking that stuff so yeah again I'd like to see I think I'd like to see that marked here as a, uh, a cell point So yeah, I think I'd like to see that uh, a little bit. As I think I'd like to see those straw cell points marked. Uh, it's it's a little bit difficult to check where they are and, and how they uh, uh, and exactly where you need to drop stuff off for that. Unless of course it is the whole bar. Um, but yeah, something something that just marks it as a as a cell point would be good. Um, small niggle, uh, but uh, but a niggle nonetheless. Otherwise, 
I'm I'm liking this a lot. These fields feel large. I think that, I think this will be a, a, a really ma nice map to do single player. Um, it's it's got a lot of it, it reminds me again a little bit of Greenwich Valley as well, where you have a lot of fields. Wool cell point. So there we go. Nicely marked cell point. Heading up this uh, roadway here. And there's there's no way in a uh, first look video we're going to be able to visit all the roads on here. We'll try and make it to all the cell points. But uh, yeah, we have a animal purchase point here. Uh, I'm guessing in the middle of these. Can't exactly tell where the animal purchase point is. It exists here, but um, yeah. I could not tell you exactly where it is. Ah, there it is. Wow, that, that was a little bit well hidden, but it is at least marked. So there we go. So yeah, that is that is at least marked there. And then we have the wool cell point here. And again, this is nicely marked. So this is this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Even if it's even if it's just some lines on the ground, uh, it would be nice to know exactly where the cell point is. Um, and I didn't see either of those in those in those two bars. So yeah, small change, uh, but uh, it it goes a long way sometimes. These small changes. Uh, dirt road that goes up just into the fields there so we'll head back out this way now this road here we are gonna go into here because this is a woodland area and we want to see how much detail is in these woods and I quite like this this is pretty cool uh, I think I'd like to see some more shrubs and, and, and a little more detail in the woods, but otherwise, nice, large woodland area. There is a, there is some detail in the road, but it does, uh, yeah, it, it, a little more variation, I think, under the trees would be good. Uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty cool. Nice big uh, forestry area. Uh, nice big circular road on it as well. Just works pretty nicely. Wow, <laughs> it is a very windy road through this. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spend too long in here, but uh, yeah, I do like this uh, woodland area. Very, very much. Let's head back down to the road. And there's, what is? Oh yeah, it looks like there's a stream that comes out just below this woodland. But you could work, you could work this woodland really quite nicely. That would uh, that would be fairly profitable in the winter, I think, to uh, to work through that. And let's head down this way. And there's. I can't see, there's, there's definitely a river between those two fields that I can't see at the moment. As we're right along the edge of the map now, and this is, this is nice. This is very cool. This kind of reminds me, this does remind me of, of sort of the estates that you see in Norfolk. And then the, the long roads with the, the with, or the long wide drives with, the, with a lot of grass either side. This is, I'm loving this map. And it's this is taking me all the way down to the main road. Down here. Very cool. We'll go out onto that and head uh, past the fuel station here. So this is the main road on the map. This has... Uh, the, the traffic in here is from Dutch Modding. It goes, wow, that really goes quite nicely. As there's not a bit on this map where I haven't looked at it and gone, wow, this looks incredible. It is just such a good looking map. Into the town, uh, 
We got speed cameras on here. I don't think they're working speed cameras. I can test that, but I don't. I, as far as I know, they're not working speed cameras. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, traffic lights. Uh, this is the shop on our left. Uh, so vehicles spawn down this side here uh, the shop always tells you sort of the, the kind of size uh, of equipment that you can have on our map uh, and yeah it's not very big here uh, next we've got the uh, wood yard the sawmill uh, and that so that has a sell point for logs are uh, roughly there no again no markings for exactly where the sell point is um, and I can't tell there's there is a pile of wood chips there but I can't see if that is a wood chip sell point so again I would I would say the only issue I've had with this map at all so far is I think the sell points need to be a little better marked in some cases uh, another cell point here, uh, so that's uh, that is nicely marked and easy to see. I think is that the is that the co-op? That might be the co-op. Yeah, that's the co-op. That one. And then, how do we get to? We need to uh, double back a little bit to get up to the farm up here. Ooh. So let's head back that way for that, which is up here. So up this road here a bit, and I think we can get to it. Nice, yeah, it's just over there, and that's our pig farm that we're trying to get to at the moment. There's a, there's a lot of variety in the roads. Towards the top of the map, we're we're very enclosed. At the bottom of the map here, it's it's much more open. You know, there's not quite so many uh, hedges and things in some places. And again, I like that variety. I like that variation. It means that you can, if you do, do certain parts of the map, you get a different experience to doing another. Which means you could you could do this map one playthrough on the on the sheep at the top, and and one playthrough on the on the pigs down here, and have two completely different experiences. Uh, workshop area, Very empty barn. Again, nothing on this map in a yard is flat. Everything's multi-level. And then you've got your pigs over here. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Again, minimalist uh, in the detail in the yard, but just enough to make it feel lived in. And, uh, and yeah, we've got our water and our feeding trough there and a nice little pig area. Absolutely wonderful. I'm really, really loving this map. I'm not sure which animals I do on here. I'd, I'd be very tempted, I think, to do cows. I really like that cow yard. It is a, it is a cracking yard, that. Right, and we're not quite heading back up this way yet, I don't think. I think we want to head down uh yeah towards the bottom of the map four five different places down there for us to uh to look at which is amazing yeah you see what i mean by this this map feels large there is such a distance to go um and so many fields and so much detail that it can't help but feel to be like a large map Oh, yep, that traffic is, uh, has a, a good punch to it. <laughs> so I head through the town, and uh, I need to get my map back up and see what's down the far end. What's this say? Luden Show. Nice. That's some really nice touches on here. And out the other side. Yeah, a new housing estate. Very cool. 
As, uh, there, there are some really, really good bits of detail on here. Really good bits of detail. Oh, wow. And what have we got down here? So this is this is the cell points down here. This looks like the BGA to me. I think either that or a milk. No, I think this might not be the BGA. I think this might be a milk parlor and a uh, a cell point. So more general cell point and I think is a yeah is a milk parlor. Again, I'm guessing the point at which you sell is here, but it could do with marking. So yeah, I love that. It's, it's that is a nice, nice, well detailed cell area. There's nothing. I am coming a cropper on this traffic. Uh, nothing on this map that that feels unnecessary, and that's that's a really good thing for a map to feel fully lived in but not unnecessary. Oh, this is cool. This is a lovely bit of it. This is the Ludon show. A Ludon show? That is very, very cool. I like that. A nice little agricultural show. <laughs> Built into this map. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I love that. I love that so much. Right, and we're heading up here. That's one of those things where, uh, with what you can do in seasons these days, you could have that only appear at certain times of the year, which would be uh, which would be a really uh, excellent way to go. Here's the BGA. So uh, yeah, good sell point. Uh, nice easy access. A uh, couple of good sized silage clamps as well. That is that is very nice. Really like that. And it looks it looks like a little bit worn as well. Which is uh, which is absolutely brilliant. And then we'll head up here because we've got another cell point up this way. And and farm. Okay, so this what farm is this? Uh, so, cell point here. I'm guessing an egg cell point, maybe. Yeah. So this this suffers from the same thing again. I have no idea what or where the cell point is here. So let's have a let's bring this up quickly and. Uh, where are we? We are over this side of the map at uh, Woodhead Cottage. Uh, so what is that the cell point for? Woodhead Cottage is a cell point for eggs. Yeah, as I suspected eggs, but no idea exactly where I sell them there. So uh, fits in with the uh, the whole thing again. Uh, of I'd like to see some of these cell points better marked. It is the uh, so far that is the only criticism I have of this map though. What farm is this? It's sheep. It's a second sheep farm. So I, I will say that the information I gave at the beginning of this video was uh, may have been slightly out of date. Because um, this is definitely a fit farm. Which is, uh, which is very cool. I like this a lot. So yeah, we have another, this is a sheep and agricultural farm as well. So uh, yeah, this is, a pr this is a pretty neat farm. And that's, uh, yeah, feeding trough for the sheep. And I'm guessing that is where our uh, wool pallets spawn and the water trough over there. So yeah. Very nice, liking that a lot as well. That is a ni that's a nice yard. That's a really nice yard. I like its uh, location and position and everything as well. That is 
absolutely cracking. Really, really impressed by this map. This is NM Modding's first map. And it is a massively impressive map. You do not want to try and get anything more than a... Well, I, would, I wouldn't even try and get a TX-36 over this. Or a TX-32, sorry, over this. You, you would struggle. Okay, you're not, you're not going to get your combine from there to here on this. Now, we've got a cell point up here. That's an entrance to a field. Ah, oh, this is this is beautiful, this map. Um, we've got a cell point in here. Wow. Okay, so there is a cell point in here. You are not going to get a vehicle across here, though. So what is this the sell point for? This is Luden Lodge. Uh, that's this one here, and that is that is an egg sell point as well. So I'm not. I wonder where. Again, it's not marked on here, so I have no idea exactly where it is. But you're you're gonna be hard pushed if it's the other side of there. You're gonna be hard pushed to get those eggs sold at that point you'll have to you'll have to take them box by box that's that's pretty cool <laughs> i like that that's forcing you not to use the egg crates if you want to sell at that point that's that's hugely interesting way of doing it uh and then we we'll head up this way which brings us back to our farm i think uh it does mean that we've, we have covered all of the stuff uh, this here is the horse yard to our left, uh, just in here. So small yard, as uh, you'd expect from that kind of thing. I uh, do really quite like this as a horse yard. Works well. Not exactly sure where our field, uh, our field for them is round here. On the other side, I think. Although that, uh, no, that is grass. Oh, no, that isn't grass. Oh, it's here. It's here. Yeah, there we go. So it's this uh, this very long, thin field here. Is that a little bit... That is a little bit um, floaty, that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, that's that's really cool, long, thin uh, horse paddock that I hadn't realised would be long and thin like that. Yeah, I like that. That's a really good use of that space uh, up the side there to, to put that horse paddock in. Just that slither of land up the back there. Yeah, that's cool. That's very, very nice. Uh, brings us back up to the top of the map here, uh, which brings us up and round and back to our starting point. So yeah, huge feeling map this feels really really big i'm just gonna pull into here ah uh, and yeah i'm liking that map a lot so let's have a look at the starting vehicles we have so we in our garage we have uh, a Voltra a114 uh, a t6175 as our two tractors so yeah it gives you a feel for the kind of size uh, of, uh, of a vehicle here. I think these are two good track, good size tractors for this map. Uh, 110 horsepower on the Valtra and 175 on the New Holland. Uh, you get a TX32 Combine as well. Uh, you get a Lizard Pickup, which is there. Uh, you get, uh, what else have we got in our garage? Uh, we've got a uh, header for the Combine. Uh, a Kuhn BF, a BTF 4000 uh, Cedar with a TF, is that a Cedar? Or, yeah, that is a Cedar, I think. Um, with a TF 1512 front tank. Uh, you got a Kuhn Deltis uh, 1302 MTA3 sprayer. Uh, and a Kuhn GMD 4411 mower. Uh, a GA a Kuhn GA nine five three one wind rower and a roll belt one fifty uh, uh, baler. 
uh, a Knight RA 141 uh, feed mixer, an Aquatrans 7300S uh, uh, water trailer, uh, and a Joskin Betamax or Betamax uh, RDS 750 animal trailer. Uh, good, good set of animal stuff there. I like that. No tedder. Uh, it may come up, but uh, yeah, at the moment, no tedder. Uh, an FZ30 front uh, front loader with a roll type bale fork, a manure fork, a pallet fork, a bear and a bale spike, and a header trailer for our combine. So yeah, no tedder. Uh, so that is, I think that's the only piece of equipment there I would like to see added. Otherwise, oh, and actually no cultivator. No means by which, because I'm not sure that's not a direct seeder. So no cultivator and no plow. So uh, I would say I would say those two pieces of equipment are probably needed. Um, but otherwise, yeah, good setup for this farm. I think that works well. So yeah, I'd like to see a tether and a cultivator added, uh, maybe. But otherwise, yeah, absolutely cracking. Um, liking that a lot. As I said, we've had a look around the cell points. Um, good set of cell points. It's gone up from seven. Uh, it's now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's up to ten cell points. Um, the information that I, uh, I gave at the start of the video is from the 15th of February when uh, NM Modding first announced this map. Uh, so he's added a lot of stuff in there. Um, uh, no info as to whether this is going to be available on console or just on PC. Um, uh, I think he's going to go for a mod hub release. Uh, it is, it is a stunning map. I cannot wait for this uh, for its completion and full release. Uh, it is going to be absolutely incredible uh, map uh, once uh, once finished. Once once I, I think there's a couple of little bits of. Uh, uh, of, of polish to put but in general this map looks utterly stunning um, I will keep you guys up to date as to when it is released um, but uh, yeah when it is go download it go get your hands on it it will be you will not regret it with this map it is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous map um, and that is where I'm going to leave this first look so uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this first look please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye